TTX Megaflex bolts can be installed by handheld drilling machines, by mobile bolters, or off continuous miners. Ensure you are wearing all appropriate personal protective equipment before starting the job. Check that drill bits are sharp before drilling the hole, and ensure you have enough extension steels to drill the full depth required for the bolts being used. You will need a 27 or 28 mm bit depending on which Megaflex bolt you are installing and the hardness of the roof. Also required is the correct bearing plate and combo dolly. The nut, roller bearing and ball washer are all attached to the bolt and enclosed in a plastic bag. Continue to add drill steels until you reach the correct depth. The correct depth is exactly the same as the length of the Megaflex bolt being installed. Do not over drill the hole as this will shorten the amount of resin encapsulation of the bolt thereby reducing the anchor strength. Flush the hole thoroughly after drilling until clear water returns. Insert the resin capsule into the hole with the fast set section at the top. Place the combo dolly in the drill rig chuck and raise the inner hex socket of the combo dolly and slide the lugs into the dog leg slot. The inner hex socket takes the hex drive of the Megaflex and is used to spin the bolt through the resin in much the same way as a roof bolt dolly. Place the bearing plate on top of the drill mast. Feed the bolt through the drill mast and bearing plate and into the hole. Continue feeding the bolt in until the hex drive on the end of the Megaflex can be fitted into the dolly. Keep the Megaflex as clean as possible during insertion. The bag on the head of the Megaflex should only be removed when the hex drive is about to be inserted into the dolly. This is to keep the threads on the bolt head as clean as possible so that the maximum tension can be applied to the bolt. Spin the Megaflex through the resin as it is being pushed into the hole. Do not use excessive force when inserting the bolt. This will avoid whipping or bending of the bolt. Check the label on the box of resins for the correct mixing time. Complete the spinning of the bolt with the bearing plate approximately 25 millimeters from the roof. Do not spin the bolt with the bearing plate pushed hard against the roof. Immediately after spinning, it is crucial to push the Megaflex hard against the roof and hold for the required setting time. Do not attempt further mixing of the resin once hardening has commenced. Doing this will reduce the capacity of the resin anchor. After set time, release the feed force on the dolly and rotate the drill motor slightly in the opposite direction to allow the inner hex drive to drop into the body of the combo dolly. Raise the combo dolly so that the outer hex drive can engage the nut of the Megaflex. Start drill rotation and tighten the nut until the drill motor stalls. Do not apply thrust to the bolt when completing the final tightening of the nut. This allows for maximum hydraulic pressure to be applied by the rotation of the drill motor and hence provide maximum tension on the bolt.